Hello, welcome back to an absolutely gorgeously sunny day here in rural Wales and welcome to my raw running challenge where I'm eating a high raw diet and training for a half marathon and seeing how I get on. Um, well this morning I went for an 8 mile run and, and I'm still running on empty. Um, as those of you who have been watching my videos know that I do struggle to eat enough food and I do seem to miss meals a lot of the time because I'm on the road and on the go and life happens and yesterday morning oh I've got hiccups now um, yesterday morning I did a four mile run and then the idea was I was going to be eating as much as I could for the rest of the day because the day before I hadn't eaten a lot well I, I had to go off on one of my long haul drives oh the sun's moved last night so I was sort of an hour and a half away from home uh, sat in the car and realized that the smoothies that I'd made to take with me were still sat on the kitchen table at home so I didn't have a lot to eat last night um, I managed in the leisure center to find a couple of very sad small bananas and a, an orange uh, I didn't eat the orange because it was incredibly hard I couldn't even get to peel it and it just didn't look appetizing at all but, so I just ate the bananas um, so yes I don't know why they do such unhealthy food in in the leisure center I'd found this little basket with this token gesture of a couple of some sorry looking fruit in it and everything else was just chocolate crisps hot dogs uh, which didn't appeal to me um, chips fast food that sort of thing uh, big pieces of cakes and oh gooey stuff and not my sort of thing at all and um, yeah so I didn't eat anything there so yeah I ended up not eating a lot last night I didn't get home till 10 so it was a bit late to start eating then so again this morning set off and I'm running on empty again but I didn't do so bad I did the eight miles I was sweating rather a lot I was soaked because the sun came out I haven't run in hot weather for a long time because uh, the sun has been hiding but it was very pleasant a uh, bit of a breeze at times but I, I did get rather warm um, at some times and I, I did do it and I did eight miles I'm not doing any more now until Sunday when it's the half I did have some energy left, I did have a little bit of a headache thinking I'm probably a bit dehydrated because of the sunshine and, and obviously the lack of food the day before um, but I could have done it again to do the 12 miles to um, to actually do the, the half marathon distance so I feel really good knowing that um, although I might be slow I can actually cover the distance so I won't be doing any more running now until Sunday when I do the half marathon and I will hopefully be actually getting some food in between now and then to actually stock up to have some uh, energy to do all the running. So uh, today I have had masses of smoothie now today and some fruit. I've gone out and I've gone and got another big box of bananas because we're running solo on bananas so I've managed to find find um, another box full. So I, over the next few days now I'm going to be um, going bananas and eating as many bananas as I can. So I hope your challenges are going well and I hope your raw diet is going well. As I say, I feel great when I eat it. Um, the only problem I'm having or the main problem I'm having with eating raw or high raw is the fact that I can't seem to eat enough and the way my lifestyle is I don't seem to be able to get the meals in and I've got to pre-plan like you can't just sort of walk into a shop like I went to the local garage was there last night they didn't even stock any fruit at all um, I even looked to see if they had like a tin of something that uh, with a ring pull because of course I had no utensils or anything with me to see if I could eat a tin of fruit but there was nothing much no nothing ring pulls and no fresh fruit or vegetables at all in there they said they just don't get the demand for it and it goes off so that that's the one thing I do find with it is that it's not as easily accessible and if I go into the supermarket which was a bit of a trek and through the rush hour traffic and I just thought oh, is it worth it? you get sort of green bananas the melons are quite hard and I didn't have any spoons or knives or anything uh, in there a lot of things at the moment are a bit hit and miss and uh, yeah you, you've got to be a bit more prepared and pre-plan and don't forget to take your stuff when you do pre-plan it um, that is the one thing I'm finding is you just can't pop into a shop and, and pick it up off the shelf and have it round here anyway um, I think um, 
it depends where you are because I've seen that um, on Instagram and YouTube people they seem to be a lot more sort of things like smoothie and juice bars around or their shops are probably a bit bigger and stock more stuff but we're sort of a bit limited here so you have to sort of um, do it yourself and make your own picnics and pack cheese and which works quite well unless you leave them behind so that is the, my major problem is getting in enough calories and enough food and with the lifestyle I have on the road all the time and also with the running as I say if I run in the morning then I sort of miss a meal and then if I'm on the road in the evening I sometimes go and get a chance to eat or I don't feel like eating and then I get back really late so I'd say that that is if there's a problem on all that is it it's trying for me myself personally get enough food in but I'm hoping that the longer I do this um, the better I'll get at it and I'll I'll find some ways of going around these issues and uh, sorting out my lifestyle so that I can actually do this properly because I'm very conscious that I'm not doing it quite right because I'm just basically not eating enough food um, so although I mean I'm functioning and I'm quite chirpy but I can feel it I do get tired um, the run this morning my legs are aching quite a bit now um, I'm hoping they recover quite quickly and uh, there we are so I hope your running is going well and your raw eating is going well um, and all I can say is don't forget to take your smoothies. <laughs>